Hi there, this is Jeff. The following is a presentation of our CVPR 2023 paper, Open Vocabulary Semantic Segmentation with Mask Adaptive Clip. This work is with Bichen, Xiaoliang, Quenpo, Ina, Han, Peizhou, Peter, and Diana from the University of Texas at Austin and Meta. If you are interested in our paper, please come to see our poster on June the 20th. Traditional segmentation models have made a lot of progress. However, these traditional segmentation models can only segment the classes that are well-defined in the training data set. We human and in the country understand the word in an open vocabulary way. So this work focuses on open vocabulary segmentation where our model is able to segment anything with arbitrary classes. So our model is able to segment Saturn V, Oculus, and Golden Gate. So how can we do this? Let's first start with a two-stage open vocabulary baseline, like simple sec and the zig former. Give an input image, we first get the image into a mask proposal generator like mask former or mask Q former. It can generate a bunch of class agnostic mask proposals. Then we fit the mask proposals as well as the candidate categories into a clip. And we perform open vocabulary classification over these mask proposals with clip. As we can see, the success of two-stage baseline lies on two assumptions. One is for mask proposal, the proposal generator is assumed to generalize well to unseen categories. For clip classification, the pre-trained clip is expected to perform good classification on mask proposals. Do this assumption hold? So we get a bottleneck analysis. So for first, analysis, we use ground truth mask proposals and perform clip classification over them. This brings us 20 MLU ID 20K. For second uh, analysis, we get we assume an Oracle classifier, but a standard proposal generator. This gives us 66 MLU ID 20K, which is significantly higher than Oracle mask proposal. So we can draw the conclusion that CLIP cannot perform well on mask proposals, making CLIP the major bottleneck in the two-stage baselines. The reason on the list is CLIP is portrayed with natural images. However, our mask proposals are quite different than natural images. Like there are many blank areas and the resolutions are different. So clip cannot perform well on them. So how can we how can we solve this? So we wanna fine tune our clip. The challenge is that we don't have this kind of mask category pairs to fine tune the clip. So in this paper, we propose to collect these kind of data sets from captions. So given the image and its corresponding caption, we first put the image into the proposal generator to get a bunch of mask proposals. And for caption, we extract the lens within the caption and we use the off the shelf clip to match the to match the proposal and the lens. So by doing this, we can collect a bunch of mask text categories from captions. For example, for apple and orange, there are categories in Coco, but for teapot it's not. So we can collect like novel category like teapot using the caption. After we collect the data, how can we fine tune the clip? So an interesting, an interesting thing about our mask image is that it's quite different than natural images because there are many blank pixels in the mask images like here. So up after observing this, we propose a new technique called mask prompt tuning for clip. So the idea is we only need to fine tune the blank areas while keeping the entire clip frozen. So the intuition is 
Clip is a foundation model, which might be shared across applications. So we don't want to modify its weight. So we only need to fine tune these kind of mask proposals, mask, sorry, mask, mask promptings to, to make the clip adapted to mask images. So more specifically, given a uh, mask image, we first do patchify to get the patches. And for the patch that are all pixel, masked pixels, we, we indicate the blank tokens here. And we just replace the blank tokens with nanable mask prompts or nanable mask tokens. And uh, after we're doing this, we own into the mask prompts while keeping the entire framework frozen. And uh, we can achieve very good performance. For evaluation metric, we we'll train our model on Coco, and we can do zero, zero short trans transfer learning on arbitrary segmentation tasks like AD20K or possible contacts. So this is our final results. Our model achieves state of the results over uh, six, uh, over five data sets. Compare with the state of the art OpenSec, our model outperforms it by a large 8.5 margin. And for the first time, we show that open vocabulary models can match the performance of supervised models. Our OVSEC is also applicable to segment anything, which is a sort of a proposal generator. And uh, as we can see the experiment here, our model can provide like fine grained classes over seg segment anything. Our models code, our open source, feel free to try it 